Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we are at the Tower of Lost Time here in the Dragon Quest XI post-game. If you've been with me so far, I, I thank you. I want to take time to thank you for that. It's uh, I'm glad that I could just provide some entertainment for you. Hopefully you find this entertaining. Okay, this seems like really random and obnoxious. I'm not even going to ask how any of this is working. We're in a world of magic. Does it really matter? Sparkle spot. Okay, a chrono crystal. Uh, what way am I supposed to go and what way am I not supposed to go? We'll go this way. Because this looks like it's going to go a bit backwards? Forward? I... I don't even know anymore. So that brings us to here. And there's no upper... I'm so confused at this point. You know what? It's it's a fairly simple, straightforward area so far. I'm also kind of confused. I was expecting this to be like an actual dungeon. But I'm not seeing any... There's a treasure over there. But I'm not seeing... An agate of evolution? Okay. Uh, but I'm not seeing... There's like no monsters here. So I'm really not sure what to make of this place. I mean, it looks really cool in that, but at the same time, if there's no monsters, there's no danger, there's no... You know, why are we doing this? Why do we have this big, elaborate place with all of this, you know, let's take... Let's just spend time moving around in this place. I, I don't know. Past gameplay me at this point still wasn't sure what to make of, of things. But last time, I really did hype up the uh, post-game of this. This post-game of what I've seen so far. Okay, well, there's a treasure down here. That must be the one that we saw at the other... That's what I'm going to take it as. A recipe book. Hero's Book of Basic Weapons. Nebula swords. Asterangs. Darting daggers. Stabs. Mega Gringum whips. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dragon Lord claws. We're going to need to go forging for some of that stuff in a bit, aren't we? I wouldn't mind. That's part of that's part of something that I would expect from post game content, is uh, is like upgrades to our equipment. <laughs> okay, well let's see what this place is all about. I have a giant one of those blue spirit things. light here in the tower that can well that can bring people back we've lost someone very special you see and well we were hoping you might be able to help us well hey there's our special light you speak of time sphere Time's sphere. 
Yeah, that's my thoughts. Time's sphere is the crystallization of all that has taken place in earlier since memory began. Each moment gathered by the spirits of lost time, savored. So those little blue spirits that we've been seeing literally everywhere have been recording time would be to erase those and it's all put in and contained in that time sphere last intact memory. interesting last intact memory if your companion is to be restored to you time itself must be destroyed well, that's an interesting prospect. As I say, to lose time is to lose much. So in order to save Veronica, we would need to turn back time. Well, that would be one way of saving her. I think I'm beginning to get the picture. We need to go back to... Go back to when Veronica was alive. We need to go back to before Egdrasil fell. That way, we could stop Mordigan before it was too late. Yeah, and we've already got the power that to beat just Mordigan. Save Veronica. It would save the whole of Erdria. Think of all the pain and suffering we could prevent. That's a lot of time we're turning back. We're talking about turning possible. back like 60 episodes. All is possible. It may be that returning to that particular fork in the flow of time brings all that you wish and more. But it must be done. I would gladly give up all that has happened since that day for the chance to change it. But we'd also be... We'd also be going back to a time when Mordigan is still alive. To lose time is to lose much. Only one of you may return to that place. Oh. Well, we know who it's going to be. The sphere can be broken but once by a single hand. A hand possessed of a singular power. In this world, only one such power exists. The luminary powers activate. That of the luminary. Yeah, I called it. Okay, I knew. <laughs> I see you. I know you. I knew you the moment you appeared. Only you can break the sphere. And only with the sword of light. No, oh, okay. When it is broken, when the memories are shattered, you will return to the past, and there you will stay. You mean he'll have to live it all again? He can't come back here to us? To lose time is to lose much. This world, this reality, these will be lost to you. And that is not all. Oh my. The outcome of the sphere's shattering is impossible to foresee. You may be lost forever. Trapped in a corner of time, a half-faded memory. <gasps> That's awful! Your present, your companions, your life even, all these may be lost to you. Knowing this, 
Are you willing to risk all for the sake of your departed friend? No, Veronica's not worth that much, is she? Come on. Only you can decide. I will await you before the sphere. Uh, okay, well... Oh, we triggered a cutscene. I really like this sequence here. I'm sorry, but you simply can't do this. We won't let you. Well, then I guess uh, let's just put this game to bed and call the post game over with. You won't let me. So what's really cool about this sequence is everyone kind of has their own personal reasons for blocking Jace here. Yeah, because clearly we're putting everything on the line. And even if we do go back in time, we'd be going back to a place where we'd have to fight Mortigan again. And like, uh, like the timekeeper was saying, this reality, if we, if we choose to do this, would no longer exist. This timeline would no longer exist. We don't even know where we would end up. Yeah, no guarantee you'll even make it to where you want to go. Um... But you know what? We came all this way here. We're in this post-game. We came here to do this. But not just to be like, oh, you're lost to time forever, and that's it. <laughs> that's... Okay, okay. Come on, that's not going to happen. You win. We know that. We know you well enough by now not to try and talk you out of this. But you'd better not mess this up. You go back there and you save her, you hear? Save us all. But if I go back, and since Jace is the to only do. one that's going back, won't stand in your way. all of these people are going to lose all of their memories from everything that happened. From whatever point we end up going back to. The decision is made. Then you must know all that I know. To lose time will be to lose much. But some semblance of your present self will remain. That will be useful. Your memories, the record of your adventures thus far. Your knowledge of battle, and all that you have learned. In other words, my level and abilities and skill and tree. The containers that surround the altar. These are the time capsules. These sacred vessels are immune to the flow. Oh, so we get to keep our inventory. Thus, may the items you require journey with you to the past. Well, that's convenient. Why can't we put the rest of my group in these vessels? Never mind, she's the timekeeper. The sword of light. Um, I need that. But you should retain possession of its twin. The Sword of Shadows. Okay. This will surely prove to be a more than worthy weapon for the time being. 
Yeah, if you say so. Well, we came all the way to this post-game adventure to do adventuring, so yeah, let's let's do this. I kind of contemplate whether or not I should be crafting some items, or if there's anything else I should do before doing it. I'm like, eh, no, I'll just. Step what what I end up doing is I'll save it on a separate file, uh, just in case anything gets massively screwed up or something or Wait. I wish to do something here before going back etc etc when you meet me in the past we will be enemies again but know this oh that's right I stand ready to pledge myself to your cause once more to be your sword your shield your unswerving companion Yes, yes, very dramatic, Hendrik, honey. Now, if you've quite finished frowning and swearing oaths... Farewell, darling. I look forward to seeing you in the past. I know you can do this. I know you won't let anything stand in your way. And the asses of the past will be there for you whenever you need us. I know your grandfather. He'll have a few words to say before you go. Of course. <laughs> You've grown into a fine figure of a man, laddie. Oh, don't look down now. We'll only be apart a wee while. We're back there waiting for you after all. You'll do as proud. I know you will. How could you not do? You're my own flesh and blood after all. <laughs> journey with you, feeling that I was simply doing my duty. But it became so much more than that. I'll never forget the time we've spent together. So please, if you don't mind, I hope you'll take me along with you all over again. Oh, of course. How far back are we going to end up going? That's the main thing past gameplay me is worried about here. The time of departure is upon us. Luminary, take the sword of light in hand. Oh! So that's why we can't take the Sword of Light back with us. Uh, I think it's too late to go back now. This isn't goodbye. Not by a long shot. But these versions of you, this reality of you. Those memories that you guys have with the luminary See you on the other side. are all going away. Oh hey, memories. No, no, we need to go farther back than that. Oh, there's Veronica. A little bit farther back. Oh, there's Hendrik when we first met him at the last bastion uh, before we became a fish. Uh, Mr. Tentacular? No, wait, wait. That's a little too far back. Um. Take care and remember, we'll be but that, that's back to the beginning of our. That's too far back. Take this curse. 
this harbinger of calamity and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. No, we need we need to go. Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the luminary. Well, that was uh, just after we met Eric. I swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Talk about a trip down memory lane. Sheepmates, amigos, spark thrust, and the rainbow await. The Stani beckons. I don't know how Mordigan's planning on achieving eternal life, but I know one thing: we're going to stop him. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. Oh, that was at Arborea. That's that's a pretty good place to go to. A place in time. Um, well, we didn't get lost in the recesses of time, but where are we? Where are we in time, is the question. Well, that's creepy. And big ol' sort of shadow is just on his back. Um, yes, but here's where we're going to make a new save file, you know, and just in case, back up, back up, you know. Okay, so now we got to figure out. Okay, um. Well, we're in Arborea. We have... We have all of our equipment. I... Oh, I'm looking for the uh, meteorite bracer that uh, Serena had. We don't have that. Uh, so anything that was equipped to our characters when we left, we don't have that right now. Well, this is why I made that backup save. <laughs> Please tell me we did not get transported to some, like, really ancient time at Arborea. Well, this is clearly... Well, there's no meteors around, so Yggdrasil is still intact here, is what I'm gathering. Oh, they recognize me as a luminary. Yeah, return to Father Benedictus. Okay. So we we must have made it to before the world tree fell. Oh, Serenica, blessed ancestor. The time has come at last for us to fulfill our destiny. That voice. It's Veronica. We're going to use the orbs to take the luminary up too. to the world tree. And he's going to awaken the power that will banish the darkness. Oh, so this is just before We've we went been up to, Yggdrasil, up to before, Yggdrasil. So we don't know what's up there waiting for well, us. Well, that was really convenient. No matter what happens, I swear I won't let the Luminary come to harm. He's our light and our hope, and he'll rid our world of darkness. I know he will! Serenica, Sage of Legend, lend me your power! Help me fulfill my duty and protect the Luminary! Hi there. <gasps> Oi! What are you doing here? Wait, you weren't listening, were you? Why? Were you saying something you didn't want what to be do you heard? Think you're up to waltzing in here with that great ugly thing strapped to your back anyway. And where in the world have you been? Um, I'm from the future. <laughs> Father Benedictus was talking to us all, and you just upped and disappeared without so much as a by your leave. 
What were you thinking? Uh, I, I think I killed Mortigan and brought his What's sword back in Can't time. Stop staring at me like that, will you? You look like you've seen a ghost. Well, where We've I came from, you're dead. things to be getting on with. The last thing we need is you acting like a big weirdo. So come on, pull yourself together. This is the part where I really don't like this whole silent protagonist trope. I... Darling, there you are. We couldn't find you anywhere. So many things oh, could be we explained so better, or I would I would argue even told better story-wise if you just let the main character speak words. Well, Come on, so surprised to see us. Baby Jace right even along, got to you know. speak words. Uh, what's with well, that well, kid Jace. You're supposed to be the good guy, remember? So they're asking about the well, sword. Whatever floats your boat. But anyway, time to get We're not this going show to explain the to them where we got it. It's nice that they Father noticed Benedictus that. Father says we're to take the orbs and offer them up to the altar at the top of the mountain. We need to go through those doors and follow the path through the first forest, apparently. Shall we get yes, going? Yes, yes, I know. Ah. Not long now till we get up to the world tree at long last and finally find out how to get rid of that rotten Mordigan. Let's away! <laughs> and, well, you can tell by the video time, we are going to go a couple minutes over in this episode. Um, there's a reason for that. Is there? Yes, th th there is my characters they're well, that's not what I wanted uh, the rest of our characters are in the low 30s character builder they don't have their extra panels unlocked and everybody has not the equipment that I left them with we have ice claws. Wait, we have ice claws. So I have the ice claws, but I don't have the meteorite bracer. That confuses me. What claws did I have on... That's the... Actually, that's the only part that's still confusing post-commentary me. Is what claws did I have on uh, Jade when I left? I feel like it wasn't... I feel like she didn't have the ice claw. She had something that we got in the final dungeon, perhaps? Maybe she did have the ice claws. I might have to go back and, and look at that, because I'm seeing this again. I'm, I'm kind of confused, because if we couldn't bring back what our characters had equipped onto them, why do I have the ice claws? And if they can bring back the stuff that was equipped to them, why don't I have the meteorite bracer? Uh, okay, we have... I don't care about any normal enemies at this point. Okay, so the treasures have been undone. Apparently. Uh, I'm going to try to avoid most normal battles, just because, again... I don't know... Well, our luminary is over level 50, so we should be fine. I really should have stopped and rested there so I could unlock that uh, as a warp point. Because apparently it's not anymore. I... This going back in time thing. I, as a general notation, I dislike time travel in video games. Uh, going back to the past or going to the future. <laughs> They're running from us. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I generally don't like it because it just creates a lot of logical inconsistencies, a lot of... and just a lot of, like, hey, I have to remember what all got undone now. And I know it doesn't sound like it should be too much, but there's, there's actually a lot of details that go into everything that got undone. I guess treasure. We got the uh, the magic circle, the thing for Eric that we never used. Okay. Did 
dragon thing, I don't care about you. And yeah, where I'm trying to go, I'm trying to get to the first forest. Do we have another cutscene? We don't have we don't have another cutscene. We don't have time for another cutscene. But uh, since we're going back to the past, I am going to leave us with remember the first time we were at the first forest? And we had that view with the waterfall on the bridge, and that's where I left us off. Well, fittingly enough, that is where I'm going to leave us off again. So I'll see you guys next time.